Vinny, what, what do you do on a Sunday night? Um, just chill out, um, watch uh, TV, and uh, uh, look onto the internet. Um, what do you look at onto the internet? <laughs> um, videos, uh, you know, YouTube videos, and other videos. By the time it's about ten o'clock, yeah, and, uh, Heroes is on. I'm, 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 uh, I'm official uh, Heroes uh, super fan now. I don't really listen to music radio. I've never really have. It's sort of never done anything for me, but I've always listened to speech radio. I think I know what makes it good, what makes it interesting, what people like from it, and what gets people angry when they're listening to it. LBC? <laughs> oh, really? Uh, it's basically a three-hour phone-in programme. We strive to kind of create talking points that, you know, no other radio show is doing. If you have a tattoo, you're a deviant, you're mentally ill, or you are, a, uh, well, a deviant again. I trained to be an actor, an actor, uh, but I couldn't get any acting work. And when I was at college doing, doing acting, uh, there was a module on doing stand-up comedy. It was the only way I could get any kind of stage time, I guess. A very dodgy agent I had got me a job in Milton Keynes on FM Horizon. Uh, and the week I left, a fax came through saying we're doing a new show for Channel 4, a news topical comedy kind of show. We're looking for anybody who might have anything they can do on it. I got that gig doing the 11 o'clock show. And now I'm cheating getting into radio because once you've been on telly, oh, it's really easy. Oh, you've been on TV? Oh, well, well please come and be on our radio then. Shut up, on the radio. I wanted to go into news. I, I was had my heart set on news. I kind of started out working for a couple of independent newspapers down in Cardiff. Moved then to uh, my local radio station in Cardiff. It kind of got a bit samey for me. Uh, it just seemed like there was a template template for every news story out there. Moved up to London, and you know I came across LBC. It was the type of thing that I wanted to do. I thought this is great opportunity to be more creative. The relationship with the producer, different people see it in different ways. I know there are some bosses and producers who think the producer is God uh, and what he says goes and he has to come up with everything and has to really guide the presenter. And there are some really egotistical presenters who I have worked with and could name who think that they are the most important thing uh, and that the producer is there just to make them their tea and to tell them they sounded really good. Did you get the list that I sent you this morning? Of topics? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I enjoyed reading it. I didn't, I didn't, I, I, but you did sense me, I did yes. get it, thank you. It doesn't seem compatible with tonight's show. Remember, if you're away from your radio and want to stay in touch with the latest news, weather and travel, go to lbc.com. Lady Diana's dead. Oh no, really? Yeah, well, I'm sorry to... I like her. Yeah, she was very, very good at it, doing stuff. He gets me, I get him. We kind of have a verbal shorthand with each other, uh, and neither of us are afraid to put forward an idea and the other one say, well, it's rubbish. Well, who, who are you missing, Anthony? Um, X. An X? Yeah. Just try to drink a lot. I don't know, you know. You, hey, listen, this too shall pass, Anthony, but believe me, it will get better. Uh, and never, I don't know, I don't know what to do. It's up to Chris to kind of piece the callers together like a jigsaw puzzle, to think, well, you need a bit more of this, we need a bit more of this. It's John. Hello, I got you uh, uh, police protection. Oh, for God, this guy hasn't phoned in for six months. And I got you a dodgy passport. You have, how come you've not been calling in for the last six months? I was a uh, majesty's uh, pleasure in the, in the jail. I have to make a judgment call when I take each call and think, is this call going to add something to the programme? Every caller on my show gets treated exactly the same. And you always get old people who phone in, I'm 82. Well, so what? Well, I, I, you should respect me. Well, no, I shouldn't. I mean, you, you, why should I respect you for that? You are the cat woman who accused me of not looking after my cat properly. Hey, it's the Papini sisters. How's Hello. it going? How are you? You're right. Good. What, yeah. time, what time do you call this? Really? So we only get guests in if there's someone that I really, really like. I tried new positions. I learned his friend's name. Oh dear. I made myself sit through football games. Mm -hmm. Being jilted. Being jilted again. You kind of know what you want to do. Don't you think, oh, I want to get into radio? You, you, you sometimes see people who just come into radio and they, they, they just want to start and they want to go straight on the air. Um, and those people are generally rubbish. I needed to have all that time performing and, um, you know, and making an idiot of myself. <laughs> <laughs> what 
was, what was that noise? That was weird. You know, the number of times you, I came home from a stand-up gig wanting to kill myself because it had gone really badly. Seriously, you know, I was, I was sharing a house with some people. I'd go to my room, I would drink, I would cry. Oh my God, oh, what am I doing? You know, I want to die. I died on my ass. But, uh, you know, you, you kind of need that to, uh, to, get your comf to, get, to get the skill levels that you need, I guess. Uh, I wanted to know why you've been filmed. Well, it's for a Channel 4 website. And well, I am an inspiration to young people. And they will look at me and go, well... It, if that idiot can get into radio, then so can I, pretty much.